Good morning. My name is Davida Shinsky, and the title of this program is Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis. Our purpose is to talk about events that affect you in psychology, mental health, relationships, and personal growth. Today's presentation is titled Four Ways That You Can Start Dealing With Your Intrusive Thoughts. Having intrusive thoughts is like opening a can of worms. Every overthinker out there knows exactly what this means. Once you acknowledge one, more comes slithering into our brains. Obviously, we're better off without these thoughts as they can eat away at our peace of mind. Let us paint you a picture. You are having a great time with your friends. All of a sudden, an inquiry pops up in your mind. Out of the blue, you hear a voice saying, your friends are only putting up with you because you tagged along. No one wants you there. And if you weren't there, hardly anyone would miss you. Sound familiar? Or perhaps a different context. You're having a wonderful time with your partner, but the voice in your mind says otherwise. They deserve someone better than you. Or maybe you are on a new date meeting a person for the first time, and the voice recalls some old toxic memory. You shouldn't trust new people. Remember what happened the last time before you let these intrusive thoughts rob you of your happiness. Take a step back. Take deep breaths before you already assume how everyone else feels around you or how a date may play out. Don't give in to this toxic nature and you will be able to keep your sanity. Why do we have these thoughts anyway? Where do they come from and how can we stop having them? What is an intrusive thought? Every day, we have hundreds of thoughts traveling through our minds. These thoughts happen normally, and mostly because they receive the green signals from our brain. For instance, whenever we walk by our friend's house, we wonder what our friend is up to, and so on. We hardly pay attention to these thoughts and they may disappear just as quickly as they come into our minds. Anyone who has ever tried meditation or any other form of relaxation techniques can easily notice the thoughts entering our consciousness. Yet, instead of engaging, we sit back and observe the thoughts till they are replaced by another one. Intrusive thoughts on the other hand, are like your cousins from the countryside who move in unannounced. They show no sign of leaving, no matter how much you want them out of your mind and are always demanding attention. At some point, these thoughts can become obsessive and this recurrent intrusion into our mind can totally overwhelm you. Now, you might be asking why these thoughts are so unwanted. If the thoughts were about rainbows and unicorns or things you love, that would be splendid. Sadly, these thoughts can be dark, negative, hurtful, and even tied to past trauma. So the four ways to start dealing with intrusive thoughts. Self-awareness, being aware of these intrusive thoughts and recognizing them is the first step to stopping them. A great way to start 
is my meditation. Although many people find it difficult to meditate, this act of relaxation and understanding your body helps you become more mindful. Once you become more self-aware and can give your mind the space to identify these thoughts, you can more easily label them as positive or negative. Mindfulness brings clarity to your mind and doesn't let you act out based on the voice from within. You can learn to differentiate the thoughts and afterwards discard the views which seem toxic and stupid and focus on the brighter aspects. Acceptance. Once you start recognizing the intrusive thoughts, your job is to accept the fact that these thoughts are normal and can happen to anyone. People often try suppressing these feelings, but like a raging volcano, it gets worse. Instead of bottling them up, why not embrace them? If they keep on coming, let them identify the negative views and then tell yourself that it is not the kind of person you are. Reassure yourself that these are just thoughts, nothing more. Acceptance gives you the power to dictate your feelings over this unusual wave of energy. You are now in command of your actions and you choose to let these thoughts be, not suppressing them, not giving them power by engaging with them. With time, you will gain full control and they will eventually reduce. Replacement. This is another technique to prevent pesky, intrusive thoughts from ruining your peace. We talked about being aware and accepting them. Now, let's try replacing them. Whenever you have a negative notion, try to trick your mind into pondering something else. If your partner receives a text and you worry about being cheated on, engage in a different activity or thought till it completely gets out of your head. You're out with friends and start doubting whether your presence is enjoyed or not. Just live in the moment. Someone doesn't tell you <coughs> that you are unwelcome. Don't assume the worst for yourself. Give yourself the benefit of the doubt unless you have genuine reason to think you are being cheated on, in which case, you need to talk to your partner, not just live with these concerns in your head. Every time an unwanted opinion pops up, replace it with another interesting view. If possible, something happened. As long as it isn't inappropriate, it doesn't matter what you are replacing it with. Identity, according to Harvard Health, it is also important to be able to identify the types of intrusive thoughts you are having. If you are having the same type of thoughts popping in over and over again, you may have some underlying and unaddressed trauma to seek help for, or you may be suffering from anxiety, stress, or unresolved personal trauma. If this resonates with you, talk to your doctor, counselor, or therapist, or reach out to a professional who can help. You don't need to live with intrusive thoughts. Intrusive thoughts are 
ugly, and they can affect your mental health. So take the necessary precautions before these negativities take away your soundness of mind. And the last thing that I'm going to say about this is that often these intrusive thoughts are there simply because we allow them to be. And often we just have to kind of become very self-aware of why we have <coughs> these thoughts and try to replace them with positive reinforcing thoughts. Therefore, it makes it easier in order to make things work better.